bored with sex assault, Hollywood moves on to promoting man-boy love. Hollywood is consumed by sex scandals. The party of Hollywood, this being the Democrats, is turning its fire on Roy Moore over disputed allegations the candidate for U.S. Senate in Alabama behaved inappropriately toward teen girls. So, of course, one of this year's Oscar contenders is a love affair between a 24-year-old man and a 17-year-old boy. According to a scathing piece at the Daily Wire by Paul Boyce, the Luca Guadagnino-directed Call Me By Your Name centers on a sexual relationship in 1983 Italy between characters played by Army Hammer, The Lone Ranger, The Social Network, and Timothy Chalamet, Interstellar. Following the revelations that Kevin Spacey allegedly pursued sex with underage boys, a movie about the pitfalls of that lifestyle seems apt. Has Hollywood finally found what Weinstein once described as its moral compass? Boys asked. Not in the least. In fact, just one year after Tinseltown awarded Best Picture to a movie featuring two male teens giving each other H.S. on a Miami beach, Moonlight, the industry seems intent on pumping the creep factor up to 11. Hardly a cautionary tale, Call Me By Your Name is a romance of depraved proportions. Trending, developing, another dem. Bites the dust, John Conyers caught in explosive sex accusations. But, and as Boys points out, that's definitely not what critics are saying about a 24-year-old man seducing someone who hasn't even reached the age of majority. Bring out the superlatives to describe the prize-worthy performances of the lead actors, who instill their roles with fire, feeling and flashing humor, Peter Travers writes in Rolling Stone, noting in the headline that it's the sexiest film of 2017 and describing the Hammer's lecherous character as a handsome, athletic charmer and an outrageous flirt. You may be shocked by what the duo do to a juicy peach, but you can bet on those stolen moments earned their place in the sex and cinema time capsule, Travers wrote. Still, it's the film's wisdom and nurturing compassion that stay with you. Actually, what stays with you may be that juicy peach, and revulsion. In the one scene that every reviewer seems to be talking about, the teen uses a peach for self-pleasure and then the older man eats it. I think that might stick with you more than wisdom and nurturing compassion, but this is just me. Travers was not alone among reviewers showing just how adult they are by describing the peach scene. At Mashable, Angie Han writes that one can practically feel the sun on your skin and taste the sweat on your lips, it's not that call me by your name is especially explicit though the famous peach scene is definitely going to get people talking, but that it's unmistakably sensual. Sex is no mere byproduct of love, nor is love an elevation of sex. In Call Me By Your Name, the romantic and the erotic are inextricably intertwined. Indeed, sensuality seems to be an umbrella under which critics can justify the movie's creepiness. Kara Buckley at the New York Times notes that the film is languid and intoxicating, a visual feast of dappled light, polo shirts and air-appropriate songs, from the psychedelic furs and the soundtrack to flash dance. In the Times interview, the director of Call Me By Your Name notes that the age difference between Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey's characters in Dirty Dancing was 24 and 17, the same as in his film. Yes, but hey, as we've heard countless times over the past several weeks, that was a different era and b. I don't quite remember any of the characters doing anything untoward with a piece of fruit during my one watching of Dirty Dancing. To be honest, I was half asleep. It isn't just that there's a seven-year age difference at a period in human development where a seven-year age difference makes a big deal. The issue is that the lead character isn't yet an adult, yet the film portrays the relationship with an explicitness that's only restrained behind the strictures of the R rating. Yet, it hides behind the wall of sensuality. This is what passes as an Oscar contender in 2017, even at a time when a chastened Hollywood industry wants the rest of the country to believe that its standards have changed. Meet the new order, same as the old order. Just more intersectional. Please like and share on Facebook and Twitter with your thoughts on this story. Story.